for under normal conditions for a certain process, certain procedure, certain component of the production process. Then, of course, we can use those standard costs for budgeting purposes, for measuring purposes, for performance purposes. That's our goal here. You're imagining us basically putting together what, how long something should take or what process something should go through, what the cost should be of it, and then comparing the standard costs to the actual cost. So we're going to say this is basically what we think it should be. Here's what actually happened. We will then, of course, look at the difference or the variance, and we will consider what that difference is, if it's relevant material difference, and then go into any decision making or changes about our the way we either made the estimate or what we're doing in the process so that we can improve. These will, of course, be some types of estimates. So we're going to be looking at those differences that are significant. We're going to be looking at the most significant differences because those we would think and assume would be the most relevant differences. The standard costs will often, of course, be used to create the budgets. We'll often come up with the standard costs, which will be kind of like the components of some of the line items that we'll be using within the budgeting process. And therefore, when we consider the budgeting process, you, you'll note that we have line items such as income statement type items, which we may further break down into their standard costs. And that allows us to have the component parts of it. And when we do our comparison of our actual numbers on the budgeted financial statements to the actual financial statement, what actually happened, we can then take those differences and those variances and break them out into their further component parts with the use of the standard costs. If we consider things like standard costs, we might imagine somebody basically taking a stopwatch to the production item. So for example, this is going to be a phone. If we take these component parts of this phone and this is going to be our worker here and this is going to be our managerial accountant that's going in and is trying to say, well, how long does it take to make each phone? Because we're, what we want to do is break down the process of the making of each phone to a certain amount of time and then see how much the cost of labor should be per phone. And we're going to break it down to that that level of units and once we have that then we can use that to make estimates and calculations so in other words we put together the components to the phone stopwatch how much time should that be <laughs> and then we can kind of predict what uh what the cost in terms of labor hours should be for each component part in some fashion like this so this is where you can imagine basically you've got the people in in the production areas with stopwatches trying to figure out and time everybody and see exactly what the processes are for everything so that we can come up with those standard costs.